in many ways, my job is about trying to understand pieces of a big jigsaw puzzle and then find out how to fit it together. The fact that it's quite difficult, I actually like. It's kind of sometimes a bit of a love-hate thing in that uh, if it was easy, I think it would be a bit dull. It's, yeah, just trying to really figure out what is needed and then create normally a whole load of change to, to put those things in, in place. I've always felt that um, if I've got a job that I'm not afraid of, I'm not quite happy. Yeah, I find that you grow the most when you are pushing yourself. I spent a few years living in India, working in India, and that was a really big like, transformational time for me. It was really my role to set the culture of the whole team. And it was the first time that I had really realized how important it was for me to um, be the role model for the team, but also to be myself and to make those two things work together. I consider that I sort of went there as someone who had some experience and I left knowing, actually, I'm, I've learned to be a leader here. What excites me about data and tech is that um, it's, it's changing the world. And for me, it's because, you know, data does hold truth and you've got to do a bit of jiggery pokery to get to it, but the truth is in there and it will point you in the right direction. If I could give some advice to my teenage self, I would say um, just enjoy it more, believe in yourself more. The, um, the difficult times have a real purpose too. So don't think when times are tough, you're getting off track. You're actually probably really on track. So just sort of try and embrace the hard times because when you look back on them, you'll realize, wow, that was actually an amazing time for me. If someone's not feeling confident, I think the first thing is to um, just reflect on what are the things that you're really good at, you know, and make sure that that's what you're doing. Um, but also, you know, do, do the things that make you feel good too. So that might not just be at work, that's outside of work too, because we are whole people. We're not sort of a professional person and a out of work person. You know, we, we're a complete person. So sometimes when we're not really, you know, on our game, it's because we haven't really got that balance right. So I'd encourage women but also mums to um, really in, you know, involve girls in, in technology and data from an early age and personally you know, I've got an eight-year-old daughter and um, she, she does coding on, on apps on the phone and she enjoys it because it's a game but it's introducing her to something that maybe she might not get the opportunity to do at school or she might think that's not for her. There's so much opportunity in, in technology and data and everybody's looking for good women because there aren't enough of them. So um, for me, I'm a reflector so I need to talk to people to be able to um, organise my thoughts. But also when I've had particularly challenging things that I've had to deal with maybe for the first time. I've gone and found a coach or a mentor who's got experience in this who can help me. And uh, actually, it turns out we have the answers. We just need um, someone to help us find them. So my significant object is a photo of my grandmother, which was taken in 1924. This is my grandmother right here with the piercing stare. And she had a very tough childhood and um, you know her circumstances were very different to mine and those of my daughter and it really is uh, to represent opportunity and that uh, we're all capable of great things um, if we are given and if we take the opportunity and the good decisions that my grandmother made and then my mother have given me the opportunities that I've had and I want to hand that on to my daughter and you know to future generations. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why this is very important to me.